Hello guys, welcome to IQ Pop. In this lecture, I will discuss about storage classes in C. So there is four storage classes in C, namely auto, extern, static, and register. So for auto, the scope of auto is within the block or function. So any variable we declare in C, by default it is auto. So we don't need to uh, Define the storage class of a variable as auto in C. Okay, so extern extern is used for accessing the global variable. Okay, so if uh, the so scope is global, so if some variable is declared outside the outside the function using extern, we can access that variable. Static. So static may be a global variable also and it may be inside block depending on the declaration so scope may be inside block or global but uh, good, the special thing with static is preserve their values of the variables even after they are out of their scope default they are assigned value zero so by default any static variable will hold or assigned or initialized with zeros we need not to initialize it by zero by default it will be okay and another is a register so if we define some variable as a register storage class then what happens the compiler try to um, store that value in CPU register but uh, it uh, totally depends on the availability of the register in the CPU and another thing uh, if uh, that we know that some value is going to be used throughout the program very frequently numbers of times so we can try to store that value or variable inside the CPU register so that uh, CPU will, need, will not need extra time to access this value okay So let's try it on some C code. Uh, okay. Hash include stdio dot h main. return 0 return 0 so here you will see that I am not writing int main reason is that by default return type of any very uh, function or main function in C is int so return type of main by default is int so if we don't write it is not going to give me a error but people like to write here like this int main so it is optional uh, at least for the compiler what I'm using okay so first thing what we are going to try mm. there's two things yeah say we are going to declare some variable here int say x equal to 25 comma y equal to say 15 right now here we want to do something like this int sum okay now say sum equal to x plus y and we want to just simply print the sum so sum equal to percent d uh, comma sum all right so, semicolon here okay so let's compile So there is no error run it so it is showing that 
sum equal to 40 okay so 25 is x and y is 15 so 25 plus 15 sum is 40 no problem so here it is a global variable x and y and we are accessing it from inside the main and getting the result now question is that what will happen instead of declaring this variable here if we keep them after main then will it be possible see the error is coming right now this red dot error error y is undeclared right so how to do this thing now we can simply do it by using extern inform the compiler that this x and y is defined or it is external variable we will write here extern int x comma y now let's see what happens compile no errors run okay it is coming 40 so it is i think you got the thing is uh, clear uh, how we do how to use extern okay now there is another thing called static variable what will happen if we declare something as say here static okay so i don't need this anymore so static x and y and remove this also for the time being now some not some yes x i want to display value of x so we know that in static storage class the variable is going to be assigned value 0 automatically or by default so no error see x equal to 0 so static variable so it is showing 0 now now we'll write a code to test static or in c so main open bracket close bracket return zero okay okay before that we'll write a function here um say okay int add you close open and close the body here uh, declaring some static int my value my value plus plus it will increment my value then return my value okay now here we simply print it returned equal to um, say percent d comma what is this we will call this function from here itself no problem yeah so and again we will call the same function and we will print the return value right so you can say this is written first okay let's compile it so written type defaults to int so no problem i will just uh, run it yeah see first time it is printing return equal to one second time it is written return equal to two okay now let's see what will happen if we remove static form here okay so we are adding a new line 
all right compile say first time it is uh, returning some garbage value because okay i had to uh, now static is removed so previously it was static so it was initialized by uh, zero but now we have to initialize it by zero because static we have removed yeah, it is become in so it will store some you know, previously stored garbage value so okay let's again try yeah now you can see both the time it is returning one and one so I think uh, the difference between a simple int and static int is clear thank you for watching like share and comment and hang out with me for more lectures on C and other um, interesting topics and shortly I will start another series on data science with Python. So for that subscribe to my channel